Still on here. Okay, so we're gonna uh, start up the S rock. And we'll try again on the easy to boot. I changed the, uh, let's see. Yeah, I tried changing the file permissions in Windows. It couldn't do it in Linux. So I thought, well, maybe it has Windows file permissions hanging it up. So I did it. Got my Windows XP virtual machine. And I, they said they were read-only. And then I went ahead and said change it. Oh, I forgot to. said change it. And then it showed the progress bar like it was doing it. But then it still said read-only. And I've seen that a million times. I never have figured out why Windows does that. So uh, a lot of it I'm kind of fuzzy on because I don't work in Windows a lot anymore. I work in Linux since 2005. So and I'm talking again gotta hit F11 to get this thing to rec to sh get to I gotta get to the boot menu where I can select what I want to boot from because it always defaults to my uh, USB flash drive <coughs> when it's in there <coughs> and it's not seeing my other drive had this happen before and I'm gonna have to uh, so it just sees my cruiser pattern there's two of them, but that one of them is two partitions on it. One of them's a system partition, and I just have to always guess at which one's the one that actually has the boot files on it. Unless I, once I've done it a few times, I remember it's the top one or the bottom one. But so I'm going to take it out. I'm just going to try not to do that. Take it out. <coughs> Let's see. Now this tripod is hard to is really unwieldy, so that's what I'm using the phone with the tripod. I'm going to turn this video off and start again.